He is 36 years old in the twilight of his career, says that he takes the fights these days to have fun. He is one inch the taller and slightly heavier. Our experts fight gauge, Cutter Cunyon, has the striking ground game to Thomas. Speed even, strength goes the way of Cutter Cunyon. Endurance is even. Let's go up to Colin Cantrell to get this one underway. Ladies and gentlemen, our sixth fight of the evening is being brought to us by Lockout Supplements and is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Legacy Featherweight Division. Introducing first on my right, fighting out of the Star Motorcycles Blue Corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, official weight, 146 pounds. This season, UFC veteran holds a record of 25 wins versus eight defeats, fighting out of Port St. Lucie, Florida, and representing American Top Team D. Thomas. And across the cage on my left, fighting out of the lockout supplements, red corner. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, his official weight 145 and one quarter pounds. This world-class fighter is riding a six-fight win streak with an overall record of 21 victories and three defeats. Born in Moscow, Russia, now fighting out of Riverside, California, Georgie. Insane Kitakanya! <laughs> Rivery in charge of the action, Aladdin Martinez. Hey. All right, gentlemen, watch the back of the heads, watch the low blows, touch gloves if you want. Go back to the corners. Aladdin Martinez, our center referee, as Kitakanya was walking out to the cage. Martinez right. actually called in one of the right. commission members here and just got him to check that cut over the I have Dean Thomas, they got the nod of approval. But speaking to Katakanyan's management earlier today, they did say they are going to go after it. They're going to try and push him against the cage. Dean, you ready? And open it up Let's with go. an elbow. Michael Chevello, Pat Milicic with you. Thomas comes in at plus 200. Katakanyan the favorite at minus 280. Outside leg kicks from Katakanyan early. That's the way you take the jab from somebody. They flick that jab out, you chop that lead leg. Dean Thomas needs to keep his left glove glued to his face. Smart move by Karakanyan there. He uh, went for that choke and right when Dean let go of his leg and started to get wrist control, he popped his hips back out and jumped back down to his feet. Good awareness. I have a hook on that right arm from Georgie Karakanyan. Dean doing a great job of lifting that underhook. Very important. Kanyan, who also holds a 1-0 professional boxing record. He needs to look out for the submissions of Din Thomas. He's a brown belt in jiu-jitsu himself. Georgie Kanakanyan. Left foot to the jaw. There's a glancing right hand to that area just above the left eye where the cut is. Din's got to be very careful going for that body shot. Good job getting in, but his defense was a little low and almost got clipped. Jumping front kick, Remy Bonjaski style there from Kanakanyan. Jin drops the right hand to the bread basket. And again, then loops upstairs. He's dropping his left now. Kanakanya a chance to come over the top of the right. Shoots in. Kanakanya goes for a single. Puts Din Thomas on his back, and Din Thomas closes the gun. Beautiful job. Snatch the single, run the pipe, spin that angle, and dump me. Didn't even admit it. His wrestling is not great. Kanakanyan did say that if the fight goes to ground, he'll try and work his leg locks. They're a specialty of his. He did say as long as the fight was standing, he'd throw a lot of leg kicks, head kicks, work the knees. Certainly has done that so far. With under three minutes remaining here in the first round of three. Going after that cut with that right hand. Come on, D, come on. Hooking the right arm. Tim Thomas not allowing Katakanyan to get it free and throw it to that cut over the left eye. From the posture of Katakanyan. Yeah, Katakanyan's got to be careful down here. Jim Thomas has a black belt under Ricardo Laborio, one of the best. See, Katakanyan wants to open up with that right. Back to the kisser. And Jim Thomas does a quick count of his teeth. Tries to get to his feet, fails. And back inside the guard goes Katakanyan. Kirkonian's got great ground and pound, showing a lot of power here. 
Riding a six-fight winning streak, Georgie Karakanyan. Managed by Mike Kogan, who is newly announced manager now of Nick Diaz and Nate Diaz, among many others, including Roy Nelson. Hammering away just above that cut there, Karakanyan. Needs to lower that hammer fist. He lowers the elbow. That's the sweet spot. That's the only hand he's throwing. He's looking to get that cut. He's going from Dean Thomas. 1.35 left on the clock. Thomas relaxed. See, Gunnar Gunyan tries to get that right hand to the cut once more. I believe, is that a separate cut or is that the same cut? I believe it's a separate cut. It looks on the hairline of Thomas. Yeah. The one above his eye hasn't opened up yet. They've done a good job of it in the corner. Mankey Shorts vast up nicely. As Pat said, they did crazy glue it over the last week. But it did open up yesterday during the play -ins. One minute remains now in the first round. Kanyan there trying to fillet that cut. Those are bordering on 12 to 6. He's doing a little bit of an angle there, getting away with it. King glances towards his corner. corner. What are you telling Dean Thomas at the moment, Pat? Well, try to get back up because if he's going to go for a submission, he's probably not going to get the first attempt. He's going to have to be able to chain submissions together to catch this guy because he's real good, real sneaky at getting into the first one. Dean Thomas stands up and throws some salvos under half a minute remaining here in the first. A cut on the hairline of Thomas and Kenny Cunyon looking very composed. Body shot from Dean Thomas. Scoops that one down to the liver. Long arms, he can throw that liver shot from a long ways away. Oh, Kanakanyan gets tagged, short left and a popping right hand, high right round kick from Kanakanyan. Overhand right from Kanakanyan. Step through knee, misses the target, so too the looping right. One round down. Roll second round of action. Kanakanyan hands on hips, takes a deep breath. The cut over the eye of Dean Thomas has not opened up yet. 10 9 Kanakanyan first round says Pat Miletic counter to the leg kick there. Here's the right hand from Dean Thomas. Dean showed at the end of that first round he can use his reach to pick a Kanakanyan and possibly outscore him standing up but at least sell a striking game so that he can get a takedown and end up on top. I think Karakanya might have trouble with Dean if he ends up on top of it. And tie kick there to the lead thigh, one to the inside thigh off the left leg from Karakanya. Outside leg kick, no power behind these kicks, but he's trying to set up for an effective punch over the top. Meanwhile, Dean Thomas who goes to the body with a clubbing right hand. Didn't can bang. He's been around a long time, man. He knows what he's doing. Kanyan overhook on that right arm. It's him with a little shoulder thrust. Kanyan, no chance to cross an elbow at that eye at the moment. You see that Din is protecting it by putting it on the side of the head of Kanyan. Yep, smart. Building the knees up into the kidney area there, Karakanyan. Again, looking for that uppercut, you can see it. Karakanyan with the Russian tie on that arm, looking to follow up. You see immediately, Din puts his head on the opposite side to protect that eye. And once more, puts the left eye to the left side of Karakanyan's head. Karakanyan drops down now, looking for a double leg. 
Then smart, spreading those legs as wide as he can. Kind of coming in once Din on his back where he can work some ground and pound. Not happening at the moment. The veteran puts him against the cage. Kick that left eye into the chest. Not making it a target for Kanakanya. I sense Din, Din wants to push off of the flurry. Kanakanya, very relaxed. Not over-exerting himself. Not throwing anything silly. Yeah, twice now, Karakanyan's reached up for Din's head. I'm waiting for Din to hit that duck under. Me coming, high one, trying to lock his ear off to no avail. Muay Thai clinch again here. And then the overhook on that arm once more from Karakanyan. Yeah, showing his flexibility there. That knee came up very high. Muay Thai clinch again from Karakanyan, trying for the meet and greet knee. Him defending well, nice in. Hey, beautiful. Double leg gets a takedown, Din Thomas. And here's the leg lock game that Karakanyan talked about. Now, Din knows leg locks. I'm surprised he's not hunting Karakanyan's leg, too. Yeah, he's got it now. There we go. Karakanyan wants to move to a position where he can affect some ground and pound now. Look to get that right hand free, and immediately you see Din Thomas just lock it down. Tim Thomas showing once when somebody hunts your leg, the best time to go for their leg is during that period because a lot of guys forget about it. But Karakanya doing a good job defending also. Tim throws the legs up. He was hoping that Karakanya would leave an arm in there. Yeah, and he was looking for that sweep. He went to snatch the ankle and look for uh, some sort of uh, tip or sweep, but wasn't able to follow up. Very intriguing fight to watch here. Tim Thomas using every trick in the book to protect that damaged left eye. He came into the fight with a decent cut over and he clips Katakanyan with the right hand. Seems to ignite the little Russian. Nice double leg, run him over on that one. <coughs> and control the posture of Katakanyan. Close guard here from Din Thomas. Din, over all the years, has had trouble with guys who could out-wrestle him. Been beaten by guys that could take him down. Fifteen seconds on the clock. Second of three. And Kanyan. Looks like he may have opened up that cut a little now over the left eye. Still hasn't got that clean right hand or the clean right elbow he's so hoped for. And we're going into the third round. Little leg lock game. There's Karakanyan hunting the leg of uh, Din Thomas. Din decides, hey, you're going to go for mine. I'm going to hunt yours. Gets that leg over. That's the leverage point that you need. You've got to get that foot on the hip. Karakanyan's battling to get that foot off his hip. He finally gets it off and comes back on top of Din Thomas. Both these guys know what they're doing with leg locks. 2018 says Pat Miletic to Georgie Karakanyan after two. It is all for the veteran Din Thomas. So two in the third round. Third and final, Katakanyan prowling back and forth. Let's see what tricks Dean Thomas has up his sleeve now. Ben's got to open up here. That round could have gone either way. Tactically, I think. Uh, Karakanya might have done enough to win it. Big outside fight kick. Shops down on a 45 degree trajectory, which is how you want to be throwing leg kicks. You don't want to go horizontal. You need to cut down on a diagonal. And again from Karakanya. 
Goes to the inside five. You know, it's nice you mentioned 45 degree angles. Human body does not deal well with 45. It's nice. And Kenyon smiles, says, yep, you got me with that one. I'm surprised uh, Dim surprised didn't pounce on him there. You can never rule out Tim Thomas. Always has so many options available. Dig to the body. Hook to the head, straight right hand. Nice combination, the old 3-2 kangaroo. Circles off to his right. Tim Thomas does have a three-inch reach advantage with the legs. At the moment, it's the shorter cutter Canyon getting into kicking range. Again, doing well in the boxing category and Kara Canyon's rear leg. And he wants to throw it hard, man. That thing comes smoking through. Canyon, a lot of movement here from him. He's up high, trying for the decapitator. Nice fake, drop the head level and then throw the kick over the top. Beautiful team decision. kicks here to the lead fight. Overhand right, real bolo bunch. Canyon oozing confidence. Gain the kick to the inside of the knee. Known in Muay Thai as a Thai pub night. Body shot there from Jim Thomas. I think Dan hurt his right hand there, hit the elbow, I think, of Karakanyan. Dean hunting after the body. Looking for the solar plexus of Karakanyan. You hit the solar plexus, you hit that phrenic nerve which controls the diaphragm, so a good shot to the solar plexus. Just stresses the phrenic nerve, makes it hard to breathe. Anybody ever done that to you? Yeah, what happens if you get uh, winded? Happened to me in uh, junior school. It's always fun. Yeah. It's almost on the front foot here. It's just past the halfway point of the final round. Talk and a scooping body shot from Thomas. Karakanyan continues to be mobile here. Body shot from Thomas. It grazed off an arm and then shot low, so it was it was not delivered. Didn't gotta pick it up here though. Body shot from Oh and a liver shot there from Din Thomas. Hit that right side of the body around the floating ribs, the ninth and tenth ribs. The Vegas move. Body into shutdown mode. Not in the case there of Karakanyan. Top position here against Thomas. 135 on the clock. Karakanyan got to pick it up here. He wants to get in the UFC. He better do more than this. Very talented guy, but he's got to open up. Is Karakanyan going to allow Dean Thomas to stand here? Like riding a bicycle on your back. And the veteran springs back to his feet. Looking front kick, a punt kick there. Not a true front kick. Muay Thai clinch here from Katakanyan, shrugs him off with the right hand. That one over the cut. KG veteran Jim Thomas, and I believe that Katakanyan's camp actually thought they'd have an easier time of it tonight than what they had. Never get an easy fight out of Pitt Thomas unless you catch him early on. Shut him down. Don't Tracks away again to the outside thigh. Common perennial nerve that the likes of Ernesto Houston and Andy Sauer love to strike. Just above the knee joint. And again, the kick that Ernesto Houston really was the master of in K1. Of course, uh, temporary loss of motor control of the leg. That's what Karakanyan is doing here. Right hand from Dean Thomas. Another right hand between the eyes. Trying for a final flurry, the veteran. Would like to have seen more out of, more out of Dean like that. And there it is. Three rounds of action. We go to the judges, and it should be a decision here for Georgie Karakanyan. Great fight for Karakanyan to gain a lot of experience there, both guys showing 
a lot of respect for each other, but uh, Kira Kanye, that's an invaluable lesson when you're fighting a guy with that much experience like Jim Thomas. Great sportsmanship being shown there. Good look at the cut on the eye of Tim Thomas, and only opened up late in the third. It lasted a lot longer than even we thought, Pat. Yeah. Yeah, did a great job. You were mentioning it the whole fight. He did a great job protecting it throughout the fight. Nice to see Legacy19 trending on Twitter at the moment. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Access TV Fights. At Pat Miller, at Chevello Voice. There's Mike Kogan, who is becoming quite the Ari Gold of mixed martial arts management. If you've got your iPad, your iPod, your iPhone, your iPhone, anything, you should have our Fight Companion app on there. If you don't, do download it. Our Access TV Fight Companion app, where 51% of you believe Will Camposano will come through with the goods and retain his title. Earlier tonight, most people were picking Alan Nascimento. Favour has swung to Camposano, but only by 2%. 51 versus 49 for that main event still to come. Do you have Din Thomas? Do you have Georgie Karakanyan for this one? Seem to be some mixed reactions on Twitter at the moment. One of our page side journalists believing it's 2 1. Two rounds to one in favour of Din Thomas. Pat and I believe it will go the way of. Had a canyon, but it will be close. Tim Thomas's striking was excellent, landed a lot with his hands, beautiful tipping body shots. But as Pat said, just too little too late at the end when he went for that final flurry in the closing 20 seconds or so, and he landed that right hand between the eyes of a Katakanyan. You had to think to yourself, my, oh, if only you'd done that a little earlier. And a little more often. After much tabulating cage side, we now have the official decision. Let's go to Colin Cantrell. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for both these high level fighters that put it on exhibition for you tonight. We go to the judges scorecard where two judges score the fight 30 to 27 and one judge scores the fight 29 28. All three for your winner by a unanimous decision Georgie, insane Karakanya! Georgie Karakanyan takes the decision here. Look at the sportsmanship there from Din Thomas. I love it. True Bushido spirit and Pat Miletic now has Karakanyan. Pat. Uh, good sportsmanship there between both of you guys. A lot of respect. Uh, maybe had a little tougher time than you expected. Din Thomas is a veteran. He's a great fighter. What was he doing out there that seemed to be giving you problems? Man, Din Thomas is the... One of the original fighters, man. I have so much respect for the guy. Uh, early on today, I didn't feel good. I was throwing up all day, but you know, I didn't want to take this, take the fight away from uh, all the fans that came here to support us. You know what, man? Again, I have a huge respect for Dean Thomas and his camp. Now, uh, Michael mentioned he talked to your camp earlier on today. You guys noticed the cut over Din's eye. Was that something that you were hunting? It seemed like you were going after it on the ground. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, what kind of fighter comes in, step in the cage with a cut like that? You know, Dean Thomas, you know, we want to open up that cut, but I didn't want to focus that much on that, but heads up to Dean Thomas. Right. Now, there was talk that with a great performance tonight that you'd be looking at getting into the UFC. Do you feel your performance tonight warrants you going into the UFC? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I want to go to UFC. That's my next stop. I'm not happy with my performance, but like I said, I was feeling sick, and I came here and fight my butt off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Georgie Karakanyan. Up next, the main.